Yes, we have one more witness, and we're so happy to hear from American Samoa and Representative um, Radwagon. Please tell me if I'm mispronouncing your name, and uh, and go ahead, and, and we'd love to hear from you. Perfect. Thank you, Chair Pingree and Ranking Member Joyce for the opportunity to testify on behalf of an increase for the American Samoa Operations Account at the Department of Interior Office of Insular Affairs for FY 2023. While the worst is behind most states on mainland USA, almost 10,000 miles away in the Pacific, Omicron rages. American Samoa is at its worst state since the pandemic outbreak with over 4,000 new cases just in the past few weeks. The governor has implemented a cold red lockdown, which will last for the foreseeable future. The federal government has responded quickly and forcefully I accompanied a FEMA response team to American Samoa a few weeks ago, and we in American Samoa appreciate their support as our healthcare system has been overwhelmed. FEMA had to contract 40 healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, and technicians just to help us out at our hospital, which the Army Corps of Engineers has reported to Congress is in a state of, quote, abject failure. Adding to the difficulties, over a thousand of my constituents were stranded away from home for more than one year when our borders were closed as a protective measure against the pandemic. I myself could not get back to my own home district for almost two years. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Even when I had the opportunity to travel home with the FEMA team, it was for a short time as I was called back to Washington. I humbly ask this committee to help us get a functioning hospital, which is a primary charge of the DOI, OIA, ASG account. Additional funding will be needed from other agencies, such as DOD, VA, HHS, and the local government. But it is this committee's help that is crucial, as Interior is the lead. I hope that this committee can work with other agencies to find comprehensive funding consistent with the Army Corps' findings reported to Congress almost three years ago. Inflation and COVID have taken their toll physically and economically in American Samoa. Our tourism is mostly eco and adventure tourism to the American Samoa National Park with family run-ins and bed and breakfast, family businesses that were hit especially hard. We were last to receive unemployment relief months after the rest of the country was getting their last checks. We were just getting our first because it took that long for the Labor Department to implement the program. Similarly, we were shut out of the initial rounds of PPP and idle small business funds. Adjustments were made and the American Rescue Plan and other COVID relief measures have been a significant aid the past two years. Inflation is exacerbated in marine-based island economies where food and fuel must be shipped in. And local fishermen's fuel costs have skyrocketed while the Chinese continue to fish illegally around our EEZ and marine <clears throat> monuments, seizing even more market share while we play fairly by the international rules that restrict our fishing days. So I ask you, Chair Pingree and Ranking Member Joyce, to please look at the well-documented record of the Army Corps of Engineers findings for the need for hospital funding and proffered options that range in the hundreds of millions of dollars. I am most appreciative of the subcommittee's past work to provide increases. I hope that the committee can agree that those needs remain and have only increased. Some offset of these recent inflationary pressures is needed. And the Army Corps report spells out the replacement needs. These funds are dedicated to the health and education of our local community, which continues to lead the nation in per capita recruitment to the United States Army from our high school ranks. We are a proud people, always ready to serve our country. Thank you both for your time and consideration of the people of American Samoa. Madam Chairman, I yield back my time. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. Thank you for your excellent work in, in representing the people of American Samoa. And we are really appreciative that you came before us today. Uh, my deepest sympathy to your um, 
the people back home, uh, given the COVID challenges that they're dealing with right now, you know, it's easy for some of us when things seem to be slowing down to forget that there are all kinds of places that are in different stages of dealing with this horrific illness. So um, I hope I hope for the best, and I hope we can support you in any way. And and I'm just so sorry to hear that you and so many others have been restricted from even going home. I can't imagine how how challenging that must be. Um, but, uh, you know, we want to be uh, able to support you in, in any way possible. I know that the committee put 2.5 million in the FY22 bill for some of the initial planning and design work um, for the hospital replacement. And while it might take multiple sources to get the full funding, um, I certainly pledge, you know, our support to doing all that we can to getting that done and, and again, to support you in any way. Um, you know, we don't, uh, it's not on the same scale, but I come from a state, uh, Maine, where tourism is our largest industry. And so in 2020, when we were hardest hit by the um, pandemic, you know, we greatly benefited from having PPP and so many other programs. So I can't imagine how difficult it's been um, for all of you not having access to that program or having the delays um, that really had to be extremely difficult. So um, we will look forward to continuing to work with you and working with you on the FY23 budget. Um, and again, just thank you so much uh, for the work you do and, and for being before us today. Uh, anything, Mr. Joyce, that you want to add? I second your comments, Madam Chair. There we go. 